We are already in the second quarter of the year and some of us have become lazy and laid back on our goals. If this is you, don't worry, I have got you covered. Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Idiomima Omo. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell just beside it so you get notified each time I post a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I will be delighted to respond. <music> In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 small habits that has changed my life. These habits are going to help you stay on top of your game and help you achieve your goals in the long run. Habit number one, start your day with God. It is very unhealthy that you wake up in the morning and the first thing that you're doing is scrolling on your phone and scrolling into social media. It is important that you start your day with God. Dedicate 20 to 30 minutes of your time in the morning to either study your Bible, do your devotionals, or say a prayer. Start your day by committing yourself, your goals into God's hands. Habit number two, drink at least a glass of water as soon as you wake up. After an hour of sleep, you wake up dull and dehydrated. Therefore, it's important that you drink water as soon as you wake up. A glass or two glasses of water will do. This is going to re-energize you and also rehydrate you in the morning. For me, I keep a bottle of water a night before on my bedside so that in the morning I can just reach out for it and take a sip. You can also do this as well or you set an alarm on your phone which will remind you to drink as much water as you can. Make sure that you're staying hydrated at all times. Habit number three, tidy up your space and make your bed. There is something about tidying up your space and making your bed. Aside from the fact that it prevents you from getting right back into it, it gives your room this clean and organized look. For me, making my bed and tidying up my space is therapeutic because after a day's hustle and bustle, I like to come back to a neat and tidy room as well as a well-made bed. Habit number four, listen to something uplifting. What you see and what you hear can make or mark your day. Therefore, it is very wrong to wake up in the morning and the first thing you're doing is to read news or go into social media. This can affect your day negatively. So instead of doing that, it's important that you listen to uplifting things such as music, motivational or inspirational podcasts, or you just watch something educational and informative on YouTube. Make sure you start your day on a positive note because it's going to set a tone for the rest of your day. Habit number five, plan your day. If you want to stay productive, then you need to plan your day. Planning your day is going to help you stay on top of your game like a pro. For me, I like to write out my to-do list a night before. This gives me an outlook or an insight on how my day is going to look like. Then the next morning, what I just do is to put a timestamp on every task. Planning your day is going to help you stay productive, gives you a direction on how your day is going to look like. So that is a habit that you definitely need to incorporate. Habit number six, create a routine for everything. This habit right here has really helped me more than I can imagine. Creating a routine for everything is going to help you stay on top of your game. When I mean creating a routine for everything, I mean everything from skincare routine, shower routine, down to gym routine. I, for one, I have a skincare routine where I cleanse, apply my serum, apply a moisturizer and a sunscreen. So having a routine for everything saves time and also helps you stay focused. You know what to do at a particular time. If you want to shower, you just know the steps that you need to take in order to have a good shower. So creating a routine for everything is going to help you stay focused and is going to save you some time. Habit number seven, eat healthy breakfast. As we all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. If you miss your breakfast, 
you discover that you become so weak and you won't be able to take on your day as a pro. So you make sure that you eat your breakfast, not just eating breakfast, but eat an healthy breakfast. Healthy breakfast that is filled with proteins, veggies, and fruit. For me, if I do not have breakfast, the whole of my day, like my entire day is messed up. So I need to have breakfast so that I can take on my day, so I can have the energy to carry on and complete those tasks that I have to complete in my day. So breakfast is very important. So if you're noticing that you get weak very easily, then stop skipping breakfast and be eating all day as well. Habit number eight, practice journaling. Ever since I started journaling two years ago, I haven't remained the same. Journaling helps you set your mindset on the positive. For me, I practice the five minutes journaling where I write down three things that I am grateful for, top three priorities, and my daily affirmations in the morning. Then in the night, I write down the things that are like highlights for me in my day and the difficulties I encountered in my day. You can also use this journaling prompt or you can find other journaling prompts on pin interest that you can use. Start journaling. It's going to help your mindset. It's going to set a positive tone for your day. Habit number nine is practicing positive affirmations. Like I have mentioned earlier in my previous point, it is important that you practice daily affirmations. Daily affirmations, as the name implies, helps you focus more on the positive. It helps set your mind and boost your self-esteem. We can see how positive affirmations was very helpful to the ex-BBN Niger housemate, Soma. It works. So if you want to work on your mindset, if you want to focus more on the positive and eradicate the negative thoughts in your mind, as well as boost your self-esteem, then practicing daily affirmation is the habit for you. Habit number 10, learn something new to improve on yourself or your craft in general. Every single day, a lot of discoveries are being discovered and you need to always stay on top of your game and also your craft. So it's important that you dedicate a time in a day to learn something new that will help you improve on yourself or work on your personal development or work on your craft. If you are an influencer or you are a photographer, whatever you're doing, whatever your craft is, you should be learning something that will help you stay relevant in your craft. So learning something new every day, dedicating a time to learn something new every day is very important. It is a habit that is going to help you in the long run. All right, guys. So that brings me to the end of this video. If you are new here, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell just beside it. So you get notified each time I post a new video. Please also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be delighted to respond. I'll see you next time on another video. Bye-bye.